The back buttons are uncomfortably small. The grip is too small for large hands and the menu, like all Sony cameras, is confounding until you work with it for a few days, but the price and image quality are outstanding. And I came from a Nikon D850 and a Z7. Better than AA7 RIV? Unless you are among a select few professionals that the need to print huge images is in billboard size smiley face, or you just have a lot of cash and want the latest technology, the A7 RE makes more sense. I shot with an A7 RIV for a week and sent it back. Then I purchased the A7 RE and a 24-105 Sony lens for and spent less. Is the Sony A7 RE worth getting? We'll get to that in a minute. Here's the scoop. I moved from Canon to Fuji in late 2016 when Fuji released the X-T2. Fuji changed my entire world. It introduced me to the world of mirrorless and I ain't never going back to DSLR life. For one year I shot with the X-T2, posting all of my work across the interwebs and convincing people of its magical abilities. I shot everything with the X-T2, commercial jobs, corporate video, agency shoots, personal work, family get-togethers. Even my honeymoon in Thailand. Ah yes, the Fuji and I have made some fantastic memories together. This is the only camera I ever need, I whispered to myself one night while tucking the Fuji to sleep. Oh, how wrong I was. Flash forward a few nights later. Dude, you hear about the new Sony coming out? My friend Eric texted me. It must have been around midnight, right about the time our conversation always seems to center around gear lust. You gonna sell the Fuji and get it? He goaded me. No way, I shot back. I don't really need another camera, I said, seemingly trying to convince both him and myself. But then I started thinking. I had recently sold off all my Canon gear, so I only had the X-T2. What kind of professional photographer would I be with only one camera body? Sony did have a reputation for making good cameras. And the A7 RE supposedly had a lot of improvements over the previous version. Maybe I could just take a quick peek at the specs and see what it offered. No harm, no foul, right? 20 minutes later, my cursor is hovering over the add to cart button as I struggle to keep myself from salivating all over my laptop. Here goes nothing, I said as I pre-ordered the camera. That was November 5th, I had to wait an excruciating 4 weeks before the camera finally arrived at my apartment. Click link in description for more reviews.